and this is the Big Picture Special. She's one of the best investigators I have, but she's different. Now in what way? In every way. David Fincher directs this English language remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Cast and crew were present at the film's world premiere, and so were the Big Picture team. At its most basic level, it's a, it's a wonderful mystery. It is a great mystery and a great detective story. The fact that it's got a relationship uh, in the middle of all that, I think it's the secret to its success. It's a very intriguing story. It's the people in it, she, Elizabeth Salando, is such an unusual character. She's as close a, as she can be. You know, that was always our intention was to, to stay true to the book. And, you know, of course there are going to be changes. It's a different medium, but um, I think she's pretty close. She's been beaten down and she rises and gets get, and manages to sort of rise above it. And, uh, I think everybody kind of feels a, a connection to that sort of thing. And, and, and you know, we all feel in our life that it's, you know, overcoming major odds is a, is a, is a, is a, is a deal. It's about real people and that's um, very amazing. She's a very complicated person that you never fully understand or, or come to, to know. This incredibly fierce, a strong and dangerous woman that at the same time is so vulnerable and also so abused. She's a kick-ass character and a, a different female character. You fail to adapt to four foster homes. Were arrested twice for intoxication, twice for assault. How many partners have you had in the last month? And how many of those were men? I should have control of my money. And you will, once you learn to be sociable. I'm really proud of this movie. I think it's kind of pretty special. I was a big fan of the book, so I, I, I was really writing this script as a fan. I base what I do on the script. I can't sort of uh, mold my character around every page. I mean, Steve Zellian wrote such a great, thrilling script that I, that's where I kind of concentrated my... Uh, my efforts. David has such a uh, uh, such a beautiful stylistic darkness over him. Given Finch's world, I knew this one would be different. You will be investigating thieves, misers, bullies, the most detestable collection of people that you will ever meet, my family. I'm so excited and thrilled to be even a minute part of this film because I think it's absolutely stunning and brilliant. And I think everybody in it is wonderful and it's just great. And David Fincher is a genius. He didn't talk about his vision, but all he kept saying was darker, edgier. Um, he didn't want anything sugar-coated or even soft. The important thing is every film is, if it's good, is very subjective from the director's point of view. And I think this is Fincher's read of the book, and that's the important thing. He has a certain vision, and he keeps pushing and pushing and pushing you until he gets that vision. So he's like a very fine kind of Renaissance painter, very careful, detail. You know, it's a really interesting relationship. In many ways, they're different from each other, and in, 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 in the important ways, they're, they're actually quite similar. People are really interested in, in these two characters and their relationship, and I think a lot of people can relate to Salander. Um, you know, I think everyone at some point in their life uh, can relate to that feeling of being misunderstood or outcast, and, and so they really feel for her, and, and they want to they want to follow the journey with her and see her succeed. The film has become a sort of constrained version of the book and I think it, I think the, the, the two together uh, works wonderfully well. What they'll get out of it is an extraordinary, intense experience. This is exciting now with uh, Rooney Mara and uh, Daniel Craig. It's really exciting, you know, that, that cast, you know, by David Fincher. <laughs> Soon you will know us all, only too well, with my apologies. Girl with a Dragon Tattoo hit cinemas on Boxing Day.